everyone, Creatively Kara here, and my channel is all about taking you along on my creative journey with me. Today, we're going to be setting up all of the weekly spreads in my bullet journal for the month of January. And in January, I decided to go with a birch tree theme. So grab your bullet journal if you wanna plan along with me, but let's go ahead and set up these weeks. The first weekly spread that I made, I did show in my plan with me as well. So if you didn't see my full plan with me, I will link to that in the cards and the description box down below. So you can check that out after this video. But I went with a kind of quarter box theme for the first week. So you can see I divided each day with a quarter of the page and I decided to use the birch tree as the way to divide that. So I know it looks a little weird because I made the branches like extra long and kind of straight. That's not how a birch tree would normally look, but I figured it would be okay. It's my own creative approach to it. So you don't have to quite do that if you don't want to, but um, yeah, that's how I approached that. And then I just used my Pentel brush pen to go ahead and write in the days of the week. I know I mentioned this in my plan with me when I talked about it, but for some reason, normally when I do quarter boxes, I'll go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like across the top and then start Friday at the bottom. But for some reason, I decided to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all on one page and then do the other four on the other. Honestly, I think it can work either way. It just depends on how you visually look at your week in that kind of case. So either works, but I think I prefer when it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on top and then the rest of the days on the bottom. But anytime you do a spread like this, you usually have one extra quarter box. So I typically leave that for notes, but you could use it for a doodling space or adding any other details that you want maybe a quote, it really is kind of up to you. But yeah, overall, I really liked this weekly spread and it worked really well for me. I'm already past this week and yeah, I really liked this setup on there. And if you didn't watch my plan with me, I the two main items I use for my birch trees is the Papermate Flare pen and my Tombow N95. And those work really well with this. The N95, it's like literally my favorite Tombow right now because it's perfect for like shading or when it kind of bleeds with other markers it gets a little bit darker so um, it, it's just a really nice color to be able to use for shadowing or adding in detail. So yeah those were the two pens that I mainly used for these setups. I will link to all of the items I use in the description box down below if you'd like to check those out. On to the next weekly spread. I had a lot of fun with this one. This is a weekly spread that I will con Oh, hey, there's Milo. He just popped in for a quick second. He often likes to join me when I am working on my bullet journal, but uh, don't mind him too much. Anyways, this is a weekly spread that I tend to really enjoy. Um, basically, you kind of add some sort of divider or line um, you know, maybe, and then you'll use the inside to basically write all of your days of the week. Typically in this setup, Saturday and Sunday end up sharing a box. So I'll just have one for the weekend. Just using a ruler to divide out the lines. I bought that ruler from Michaels, so it's an artist loft brand, but I thought it was super cute because it had some like stencil shapes in the middle. Super handy. You'll see me use it a little bit in here, but yeah, just writing in the days of the week, like I said, the weekend will share a box. I flip back and forth between having the weekend share a box or, you know, splitting up Saturday and Sunday. What's your preference on that? Do you like to have Saturday and Sunday, you know, with separate spaces or do you like to have them together? For me, I, again, I, I flip back and forth, so it really depends. But if I know that I might, I might have like a busier weekend, I'll try to keep Saturday and Sunday separate so that I know what's going on each day. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you typically like to do. And then I'm able to use the sides for really whatever you want. In the case here, this time around, I decided to add in some snowflakes. Since we are in January and where I live, it's quite cold and snowy. I wanted to incorporate some snowflakes into my January setups. So I did actually mess up when I was doing snowflakes. You saw that I made one that looked, um, I don't know, it didn't end up looking like a snowflake and I was not happy with it. So 
instead of, I don't know, trying to scribble it out or whatever, I decided to pull out my Happy Planner stickers and I found a couple with just like a white background that I was able to paste and I, to balance it out, I thought I'd put one on the other side as well. So I just found a couple stickers to use and I think that that made it look okay. I mean, it's not the look I was going for initially, but uh, it works. How do you like to cover up your mistakes in your bullet journal? I've got another one coming with these weekly spreads, so uh, I will show you my trick with that one as well. But just so you know, it's completely fine to make mistakes in your bullet journal. I do it quite frequently. Most of the time, I just kind of move on or find a way to cover it up or find a way to work with it, but um, my bullet journal is not perfect by any means. Recently, when I was at the store, I saw these Pilot Razor Point Fine Liner Marker Pens, and I immediately thought, okay, I gotta buy these. They were like less than $5, so I figured it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And um, so far, I love them. They write really nice, and it seemed like it was a, you know not too expensive, so um, I will see if I can link to those down below, but yeah, I, I've really been enjoying those pens, uh, but that's what I basically use to create my snowflakes here. Okay, so we're on to the third week now, and for this one, I wanted to put the design kind of in the middle. This is a new stencil that I got for Christmas. Yay, I love new Christmas art items. It's just like a Westcott stencil. I wanted to have one that had lots of circles. Of course, there wasn't one big enough for the middle that I was using, so I actually used my uh, candle that I have here. The top to that, I used that to trace it, but okay. Also, I don't know what was going on in my head when I created these birch trees, but they do <laughs> not look like birch trees. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I did. They ended up looking, I don't even know what they look like. They just look real bumpy and weird. So yeah, they looked a little better once I added in my uh, details, but they still look off. So um, maybe make your trees a little bit straighter if you're going to create something similar to this. But yeah, I was a little off when I was doing this one, my bad. I still really like the effect that I was going for here. I wanted to kind of make it look like so, um, it, you know, there was a circle in the middle of the page and there was there's trees in the background with that. So we just kind of saw a cutout of, of that. And then I used my Tombow to kind of outline or actually provide a little bit of an inner shadow with these circles. And I liked the effect of that. Once I had that completed, I always debate on, you know, am I just going to use a letter for the day? Am I going to write out, you know, only three letters? Are we going to write it out all the way? I, I flip-flop on them depending on what I'm feeling. This time around, I decided to go with just the letter for the day of the week. But then I realized, hmm, I need to add in my number still. So I got my circle stencil back out and I made another circle. And in that circle, I put the days of the week. And then I realized, oh yeah, that's the weekend. It needs two days. The fourth weekly spread, I think this one's actually my favorite. I really love how it turned out and yeah, I can't wait to share it with you. So basically the thought I had with this one was to create sort of a birch tree border. And so you're kind of seeing right now I'm outlining it and I debated on whether I wanted to make all the lines like a birch tree border, but I decided the inside lines would be just straight lines. Now I realized here, hmm, yeah, I messed up. <laughs> I debated on whether or not I wanted to, you know, add another line and fix it some way. I decided to add in the right line, which is the space right next to it. So. I figured I'm going to continue with this spread for right now and then I will fix the error later. So as you can see now I'm adding in the details and once I started adding in those details I realized that I really really liked how this turned out. I think that it was a great idea but as you can see we're going with the quarter boxes again. So yeah. I think the quarter boxes is one of my favorite setups because it's really it gives you a lot of space and it's easy to do and, and there's a lot of different ways that you can honestly design them. 
Do you have a favorite weekly layout that you typically go for? You know, maybe it is a quarter box division or maybe it's, um, I don't know, Dutch doors. Like, <laughs> there's definitely lots of possibilities. Uh, let me know in the comments below maybe what your favorite kind of weekly spread layout is. Once I got all of the details in there, I then began to try and cover up my mistake here. I actually started with a Pilot G2 pen, but that did not cover it up well. So I thought, hmm, maybe my white paint pen would work. Since these are thicker pages, I figured that would hold it up well. I think it worked a little bit. It left a really weird residue and it didn't quite fully cover it up. So I thought, okay, my next step is gonna be white out. The only issue is, is I didn't have any whiteout in my house, so uh, I had to go out to the store anyways, and I picked up some of the um, whiteout tape. That's kind of my favorite. It's just easier than the liquid for me, so I will be fixing that in just a minute with some whiteout tape. I did end up going with a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on the top this time around. I was just being really careful because that uh, paint pen spots were still really wet. I was kind of actually getting, um, making a big old mess all over my paper. So yeah, I just really made the mistake worse. Whoops. Here is me using the whiteout tape. Love this stuff. And that honestly worked really well. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. Mistakes and all. The last weekly spread I have for you is just another simple one. I decided to go with two birch trees on each side of the page. Oh, by the way, <laughs> my daughter uh, came in and wanted her doll's jacket, so I helped her with that real quick. Never ending interruptions from children when trying to bullet journal. I mean, I'm, I know I'm not the only one out there, so uh, if you're a mom who bullet journals, give me a comment down below. We're in this together, we've got this. But yeah, I, again, very simple with this one, and I have to be really careful when I'm erasing and using my paper mate. I found so far that the paper mate kind of um, smears in, in this notebook. I so far love this notebook. It's a Vivid Scribbles. It's a different brand that I've not really tried before, but it's got really thick pages and like 200 of them but I do notice that some of the pens are smearing as I'm using them, so I just have to be a little careful. But I got this new pen pouch from Amazon, and so far I'm really liking it. I wanted to try something new for you know carrying around with me. So it's got like a zipper pocket that pops out front, but then it also just has like a lot of space on the inside with some other pockets. So, so far it's been pretty sweet. This spread was very simple. I just went in and added in the three letters for the days of the week and used, again, my Papermate Flare, my Tombow N95, and then for the lettering, I used my Pentel brush pen. And here is where I use this stencil to add in some of those circles. Uh, I did not really make these even or spaced out at all. I just kind of went for it. Well, that is all I have for you today. So thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I'd love to have you join me on this journey. Until next time, bye-bye.